Coach, I've been to Lubbock for football games a couple of times. One time there was a fox on the field. This time there was a possum on the field. Have you seen anything different out there? <laughs> um, yeah, there used to be a lot of foxes that lived in the stadium yeah. back in the day. You know what's funny? I didn't even know about the possum. Right. I had no idea. I, my wife asked me about it um, Saturday night yeah. and showed me the video of it, and I, I didn't even know. I had no idea. Yeah, I'll take a look at a couple of highlights. I want to start with this one. Here's DJ Rogers, the tight end. Caught that first touchdown. I think we're starting to see a player emerge here, Coach. Yeah, yeah. You know, DJ has showed flashes before, yeah. and and – um, and, and just been really, honestly, consistency. And he, I thought he was very consistent through this game. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been practicing at a high level. Um, and so, you know, it's like anything else. When you get an opportunity and, and the guy goes out and performs, it's really, um, it's really fun to see. Mm-hmm. You know, I know, I know he's very encouraged by it. We're certainly encouraged by it. And as you said, I think he's starting to play with that confidence that it's really important. 20 to seven at halftime. You come out in the second half after you talk to him, after you told us, Hey, we're going to get this thing figured out. And you put together two pretty good drives. Amani Bailey scores on this first one. Uh, this is our Texas health impact player of the game. This was a 16 yarder right now. And I thought really kind of, okay, you're, there was a little bit of a sigh of not relief, but you could tell there was the, the sideline change. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, I think there's again, just have been some frustration. Yeah. And, he was able to score there, and and um, you know we cut the cut it to one score game at that point, yeah. and then and then went on to score a touchdown and take the lead. So, you know, at that point of the game, I think we felt pretty good. Um, you know, felt like we we had the momentum certainly, and um, you know, knew it was going to be a, a tough game, but. Um, as we've done this uh, this year, it just seems like we made too many mistakes down the stretch. You mentioned 440 yards of total offense, 353 through the air. Knowing you, knowing Kendall, you'd like that number to be yeah. a little more even, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, we, we want to be able to run the ball better. Yeah. Uh, struggled at times to run it Saturday, and we've got to be able to get a run game more consistent. You know, at times we'll we'll uh, you know have some big plays and, and have some uh, uh, you know substantial runs, some explosive runs, but. When we do that, we're not scoring touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were looking at a stat the other day. It's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, last year we had uh, 29 um, touchdowns over 40 yards, and right now we've got three yeah. this year. And so that's been the big thing that that has really affected us. We just haven't made big plays, and we haven't finished those plays. And what's had to happen is, you know, we've had to string together drives, and um, and that's hard to do in college football. Mm-hmm. I mean, it really is. You got to execute at a high level. The one thing I was Glad to see as we were four for four in red zone opportunities mm-hmm. yes, on Saturday and scored four touchdowns and and that was really big for us. So we have to build off of that and and somehow we got to generate some big plays. All right, another chance to add it this week. Uh, Texas comes calling. We'll talk about the Longhorns after this quick timeout. Back, we come with the head coach, Sonny Dykes, in the film room here today. Don't forget, by the way, we want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe uh, to this and our YouTube channel here at TCU Athletics. All right, a couple of things before we get into Texas. One is our old tramper question of the week. Uh, what's your beef? Here, here's here's a, a football one for you. Is there one part of the game that you would like to see eliminated? And the reason I bring this up is this whole talk about the we call it the tush push now, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, is there a part of the game that you don't like? You know, I, I mean, I think the the hard thing in college football right now, and, and I think one of the big challenges for us is is officiating. And what I mean by that is how is the game going to be officiated? Right. And, you know, in the NFL, the game is called incredibly tightly. Yes. Um, I mean, if you're blocking and your hand even slips out <laughs> to the outside of a jersey, you're getting called for holding. Yeah. In college football, I mean, there's guys tackling each other all over the field, <laughs> and and so I understand what the you know they don't want to call much, uh, which which I completely understand. I, I, you know, no one wants to go to a football game to, to see a bunch of penalties, mm-hmm. but the problem is it puts those officials in a very difficult situation because now, you know, what are they going to call? Right. You know, and and so it's uh, there. Are, you, you've got instance after instance after instance where, you know, you, you have a call that. It looks pretty obvious. It doesn't get called, and then some other calls that aren't very obvious that do get called. I mean, you go back and you look at the Oklahoma Oklahoma State game on Saturday. Mm-hmm. You look at that non-call on the pass interference in the end zone, and yeah, and that's a big call. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, that that pretty much eliminated Oklahoma from the college football playoff. Yeah. and and um, that's a big deal. So all right, Texas, the Longhorns come calling. It's a red hot football team coming off the win against uh, Kansas State, which was a great college football game uh, over the weekend. Uh, this is a team that can be explosive on uh, explosive on offense and more physical than maybe they have been on defense, right? 
Yeah, there it's a team that's built up front, yeah. uh, really on on the, the line of scrimmage, and and that's usually good football teams are usually built that way. Um, huge defensive front, mm-hmm. you know, uh, really really good players. I've uh, got a, a nose tackle from uh, DeSoto Byron Murphy that's yeah. a really outstanding player, and then a huge uh, defensive tackle as well that's you know 350 plus pounds, and and uh, you know big guys inside, some some guys that play hard on the outside. Uh, defensively, and then on offense, you know, playmakers everywhere. Speed at wide receiver, uh, really good tight end, running backs that run hard. But as I said, really, the probably the strength of their of their football team is probably their offensive line. You don't know what quarterback you're going to see either, right? You could see Quinn Ewers, you could see Malik Murphy. Both of them are talented. Yeah, yeah, they are. I mean, there's there's not a lack of talent uh, yeah. on this football team, and so you know we're going to have to play well. But our guys will be excited to play and play with confidence, and and uh, you know, and and I think that there is. Uh, and excitement. Anytime mm-hmm. you're playing Texas, and especially for the last time, you guys are going to be excited to play, and, and you know, hopefully we'll go out and play well. A little magic in Eamon Carter on Saturday nights, too, on ABC. Like yeah, that. yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I, like I said, our guys are, are excited, and, you know, I think hungry to go out and play well and, and figure out a way to win a football game. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. There it goes. Sunday nights, we got another edition of the Fraud Film Room. We'll be back with you again next week. Thanks for joining us. See you. Old Trapper Beefs. Fake protein. Guys, can we take a quick protein break? Protein City. I got my beans, my bars, my goos, my glumps, my fizz. I don't know what that one is, but you want in? I'm good, man. I think goop was a bad choice. Old Trap, what's your beef?